Hi, everyone. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. What an honor to be here. And hello to those watching online. So as you mentioned, I'm Sally Foon, and you covered a couple of points in my presentation. So, um, But I'm here to share my incredible journey with accessibility in WordPress over the past two years to help ho hopefully inspire the same passion and purpose that you WordPress and accessibility people have inspired in me. Little did I know when I started two years ago that I would be here speaking, so um, please just bear with me. So I want to show you that it's never too late um, or too early, no matter how long you've been on this earth, to start a new career or learn something new. If I can do it, so can you. I'm also going to be providing resources that I'll post later this week on my LinkedIn um, or Twitter page. A, a lot of the resources you're going to see, so don't feel like you have to take a lot of notes. So. Um, before I begin, I want to acknowledge that being here would not be possible without the support and belief of Joe Simpson Jr. and Summer Davenport, who gave me so much guidance over the past two years. And as of last night, AAA. <laughs> so as he mentioned, I live in Central California, um, where the four seasons, but I grew up in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And um, as you know, Canadians were born with skates on our feet, even though I'm a US citizen now. And my dream as a little girl was to be the first female player in the NHL. But Manon Rion beat me to that in 1992. So, um, and I come from an entrepreneurial family. And even though um, I spent most of my career in broadcast entertainment with Warner Brothers and Disney, um, my grandfather actually opened up the first movie cinema in Montreal in 1905, which is pretty cool. So I have my own digital marketing agency, and with COVID, had a lot of extra time on my hands. And I took a few digital marketing classes to enhance my skills. And my teacher always talked about LDT, um, learn, do, and teach. And at this point, I had not heard of a WordCamp. I had not heard of a WAPU um, or GitHub. And I heard of a meetup. And I heard of accessibility, whoops, sorry, but I wasn't sure exactly what they were all about. And I don't want to assume that everyone here knows what digital accessibility is, um, but it's really about removing digital barriers. The global pandemic brought the importance of accessibility to the forefront when we had to pivot over line pretty much overnight. And um, it really left a lot of people out that couldn't um, access a lot of the websites. And there's about one in five people worldwide with a disability of all various kinds. And um, so we want to ensure that their assistive technology can help us uh, use the websites. So my learning journey began when I attended my first meetup. I worked with WordPress developers, but I wanted to create my own website. And I attended my first one in Bakersfield, California with Mr. Mike Pilly. And when we were allowed to ask questions, I was like, can you please tell me about accessibility? And he's like, well, funny you ask. We have a special guest here tonight, Mr. Joe Simpson, Jr. And he told me about the upcoming uh, WordPress day camp where three of the Northern Los Angeles meetups teamed together. And that Saturday, August 8th, 2020, my accessibility journey began. And I was beyond excited. Halfway through, I was hooked. And even though I didn't understand everything that was said that day, it made a lot more sense the more classes that I took. So I dove deeper, actually head first, and learned all I could about accessibility, which if you don't know, um, is the abbreviation is A11Y, because there's 11 letters before A, between the letters A and Y. So my learning continued with the courses with the EDX Introduction to Accessibility course that Sumner recommended. And I love this course because it re really gives you an overview and good foundation of how people living with disabilities um, use uh, their assistive technology and why we really need to make websites accessible. And I'm not going to have time, because this is a lightning talk, to take you through all of these. But you can uh, download all the resources. And um, I do want to say that if you didn't know, LinkedIn, um, your local library offers a lot of LinkedIn classes for free. So you can check with them and save some money there. And conferences are another great way to learn. And um, Web Accessibility in Mind, who does the million dollar study of the uh, accessibility of website homepages, 
um, had their first conference yesterday, and they'll be posting those later in a couple of months, and you can watch those. If you're a designer, there's ID24 coming up. If you're interested in the legal side of accessibility, there is the Digital Accessibility Legal Summit, and of course, we've got WordPress Accessibility Day coming up in November. And WordCamps, and kicking off 2023 is a CSUN, which is pretty large, Axe.com, Nobilities um, coming up in May. And the University of Minnesota Duluth puts an incredible list of every website and conference uh, and webinar, sorry, on accessibility on, the lot, on their website. So you can always uh, check that there. So, um, and there are also podcasts and um, Facebook groups. There's over 125 accessibility meetups. And the newest addition is the Accessible Social website, which will teach you how to make all of your social media accessible. So, and then LinkedIn and Twitter have lively conversations as well. So now that I've been learning, it was time to do. And I asked Joe Simpson Jr., who I eventually called my guiding light, um, how I could get involved. And he introduced me to the organizers of WordCamp uh, 2020 for LAX. And that was, um, I joined in late as a volunteer wrangler, but everyone was just so welcoming. And I just want to say to all of you in the WordPress community, thank you. You guys are just so gracious. You don't judge. You share your knowledge. I come from broadcast sales where it's very competitive and no one tells you anything. And you just want to make us all better. So I really appreciate you sharing all of that. And, um, and you know, volunteering gives you a great opportunity to meet new people too. So after that, I asked my guiding light, Joe, and I said, Joe, I really want to put my new accessibility skills to the test. I've been taking a couple courses, and what can I do? So he introduced me to the organizers of WordPress Accessibility Day, and um, they just put up all the, uh, the um, sessions. It was 24 hours of everything accessibility at wordpressaccessibility.day. And I was introduced to Joel Dolson, who is a huge accessibility advocate, and he's actually speaking tomorrow. And I asked what I can do, and they needed blogs written. I love to write content, so I wrote all the sponsor blogs uh, for the sponsors, no pressure, but it actually worked out really well, really, really well. And during this time, I was still attending a lot of meetups, and Sumner Davenport has one um, in the Valley with uh, Ron Amick and Jennifer H. And it's also now eligible for the International Association of Accessibility Professional Credits for a certification, and it returns in the fall. Again, there's always an, the 125 to attend. So I really, so she told us about the internet rally, which um, Mike mentioned, and I really wanted to be on her team, but it was full. And I want it to be, I learned by doing, so I want to be on a team to create a website for a nonprofit from start to finish. And um, as her team was full, I signed up as an individual, and I was paired with these two lovely ladies from Texas, Renew and Carmina. And we called ourselves the Digital Diversity Divas. Well, we're not really divas, but we just want to have fun. And we had a great mentor from Australia who was just encouraging, supportive, and really helped us cross the finish line. Our nonprofit was Uniform Meditation, that does meditation for frontline workers and first responders. And we really loved that idea, which made it more fun to work on. So there is a misconception that accessible websites are, can be ugly or they're not pretty. And um, that's just not true. So here's the website that we built. Now, I beg to differ. I may be a little biased. But um, you can see that it evokes that calm that we were trying to um, get across. So on January 3rd, 2021, Nobility announced the winners. And um, we won third place. And we were all new to accessibility. We were shocked. We were just there to have fun and learn our skills. And, it just really told me that I was on the right path and I was meant to continue doing this. So volunteering is another great way to do and enhance uh, your skills or give back. And I've met so many incredible people volunteering that I otherwise never would have met. And Nobility is always looking for volunteers. You can go to the nobility.org website. And of course, there's 21 teams that make WordPress waiting for you guys to volunteer your skill sets. 
And then I came across Taproot, which works with nonprofits and helps them do their websites, um, nonprofits that don't have any money. So that's something you can look into. And then all, there's also your local nonprofits. So let me see. So with everyone at home, um, volunteering really helped keep me sane. And you can see all on the screen all the amazing benefits of it. And I just want to say to the accessibility advocates that have been doing this for a really long time, thank you. Just like the WordPress community, you guys are so selfless. You share your knowledge. You have poured in so much to all of us who are trying to learn so we can continue and build up the accessibility community. So after Air Rally, Joe invited me to be on the organizing team for Santa Clarita 2021. And it was a very different experience coming in at the end than at the beginning. So now that I've learned and done, it's time to teach. And I had the opportunity to speak to the um, California CSUB, California State University Bakersfield, about accessibility. And they wanted some help with uh, their first Google Ads campaign. So I had them create an accessible landing page. I mean, a landing page, it was not accessible. So I made them create one with the theme 2021. And they did pretty well, above average results. But Universities aren't really teaching accessibility, so if you can reach out to your local colleges or universities, that would really help accelerate the process. So um, also, they're looking for someone to teach WordPress basics, so if you're interested, please see me. So I'm going to, so I just want to talk briefly, because there was a woman this morning that talked about um, technology and websites, and WordPress accessible websites is all about a great user experience. You have to have a strong foundation and not build it on quicksand, meaning build the code in from the beginning. There's no shortcuts, no easy fixes, no band-aids, and disability colon in sums it up in 10 words. Don't buy or sell tech that disabled people can't use. And there's a 30-70 rule that it's 30% more time and money to start from the beginning. Building your blueberries into your muffin is an analogy we use, rather than trying to go back and kind of stuff it in and just put it on the top. And WordPress has 92 accessible themes so to help you get started. So then Air Rally 2021 came around and they want, asked me to mentor, but I still didn't feel comfortable. So I asked if I co could co-mentor, and they allowed me to mentor with Sumner. And um, she is just has a ton of experience and knowledge and really carried us through. And um, when the announcements came, we had, we had team access hippos for best their brain injury survivor non -product, uh, uh, nonprofit. Sorry. And um, she knows so much that she was affectionately called Allie Einstein. And uh, we won second place. And as much fun as it was, I realized how much I still have to learn. Accessibility is a journey. And as Meryl Evans says, she's a huge accessibility advocate. Um, it's progress, not perfection. So Air Rally 2022 kicked off yesterday, and I'm going for a hat trick. And for those that don't know what a hat trick is, it's when you score three goals in a game of hockey. And I met my team. They're all from California. And do you know what our team name is? I wish they all could be Cali girls. <laughs> so we're going to have a lot of fun. So here are some, my, I just want to start winding down with my late Aunt Lizzie. She always said we're not here to see through each other, but to see each other through. And I love it because it really summarizes what the WordPress and accessibility community is all about. Here are some advocates to follow in no particular order, and you'll find your own as you continue. Again, all these resources, I'll be sharing the links. And, you know, my next steps is to continue learning HTML, the accessible code. So excited when I wrote my first code. Do you guys remember all that? And then finish my accessible website, actually with building blocks. And finish my DQ courses to become certified. Um, continue learning WordPress and collect those pins. I want those. I just got my first one today. So I'm, um, I hope you've, um, and here's just some unexpected highlights over the past two years. And being named a Yoast Care Fund recipient was just really incredible. And of course, being here at WordCamp US. So it's never too late. And I just want to say that we all have life's challenges. But just go out there and learn and don't let anything stop you. I'm a three-time cancer survivor. And I was only, I hit my um, 
five-year mark in March, and I was diagnosed early. Thank you, because only 15% of people of women are, so that tells me that I'm still meant to be here and make a difference, and that's why I'm up here, to do what I can with all of you to make the website and the world accessible one website at a time. So um, thank you, and here's my contact information, and I'll be around if anyone has any questions. Thanks.